Welcome to the fourth learner's license test for 2024. Um, before we begin, I just want to thank each and every single one of you for watching the videos, liking and subscribing. I truly appreciate you guys. Uh, before we start, I just want to give you a few new testimonials for 2024. As you can see, okay, it's Meg's um, commented 10 days ago that she was uh, writing in that week and that I should wish her luck. And then she came back after that and she said she wrote on Tuesday and she passed thanks to your videos. And I included the video there so you can go back if, uh, to that video um, to see if this comment is real or not. And then this other person, girl with books 23, she says, she asked me a few questions actually two weeks ago. And then she comes back uh, and says, thank you so much for the tips. I have now passed my learner's test. So you can clearly see that my questions are real questions. And if you study them long and hard enough, you will indeed pass. So let's start. We are starting off with road signs. I have 10 questions here. And um, question one, what does the sign instruct you to do? So this is a stop sign. Um, so what does the sign instruct you to do? A, stop using your headlights. B, come to a complete stop in front of the sign. Or C, stop once you go past the sign. Now remember when you see a stop sign, you have to either stop in line with that sign or before the sign. You're not allowed to go past the sign and then stop. Therefore, the answer here will be B. Come to a complete stop in front of the sign. Question two, what does the sign instruct you to do? Now, in the last video, I reminded you that an upside down triangle actually is telling you to yield. Now, what does that mean? That means you have to come to a very low speed without stopping if there are no cars at an intersection, right? If there are cars at that intersection, you will have to come to a complete stop. So what does this sign instruct you to do? A. Turn left at the next intersection. B. Speed up when you see the sign. Or C. You must yield when you see the sign. The correct answer here will be C. You must yield when you see the sign. Question 3. What does the sign indicate? So it's a red background with a white arrow pointing towards the right direction. So does this sign indicate that there's a one-way road in the direction indicated? Or you must turn left at this sign? Or C, you must stop when you see the sign. Now the correct answer here will be A. The sign indicates that there's a one-way road in the direction indicated. And this sign can also appear pointing towards the left direction. So uh, the answer will practically be the same thing. Question 4. What does the sign command you to do? Now, this is a speed sign. However, it is blue, right? It's blue and white. It's not red and white. So when a sign is red and white, it is indicating to you that there's a maximum speed limit. However, if the sign is blue and white, it is indicating to you that you must drive above that speed, right? The speed must be your minimum speed. So A, your vehicle must be about three tons on this road. B, you must not ex exceed 50 kilometers an hour or C, you must drive above 50 kilometers an hour. Now, the correct answer for this will be C, you must drive above 50 kilometers an hour. Question five, what must you do when you see this sign? Now, this is a blue sign with a white arrow pointing towards the left direction. A, you must look at your left mirror. B, you must keep right or C, you must keep left correct answer for this will be C. You must keep left. And if that arrow is flipped in the other direction and is pointing towards the right direction, then it is instructing you to keep right. Question six, what does this sign mean? Now there's a arrow pointing towards the left direction and a red line going through. So whenever there's a, a red line going through, it is prohibiting you from doing something. So is it A, you are allowed to turn left. B, you cannot turn left. Or C, you are not allowed to turn right. Correct answer for this will actually be B. You cannot turn left. Question seven. What does the sign prohibit you from doing? So again, there's a red line going through. So is it A, making a U-turn, B, turning right, or C, reversing? The correct answer for this will be A. You are not allowed to make a U-turn whenever you see the sign. Question eight. What does the sign prohibit you from doing? Now, there's an S behind that red line. So, does the sign prohibit you from stopping in this area? 
making a sharp turn in this area or starting your vehicle in this area? The correct answer will be A. You are not allowed to stop in a specific area where you see this sign. Question 9. What does the sign prohibit you from doing? So there's two vehicles in that sign and there's a red line going through one of the vehicles. So does this sign prohibit you from racing in this area, overtaking in this area, or you are not allowed to own two vehicles? Correct answer will actually be B. You are not allowed to overtake in the area that you see this sign. Question 10. What does this sign mean? Now, I've said this before. This is a white and red sign, meaning that it's your maximum speed limit. So is it A, the speed limit is 100 kilometers an hour, B, you must drive over 100 kilometers an hour, or C, your vehicle must not weigh over 100 tons on this road. Correct answer will be A, the speed limit is 100 kilometers an hour. We now go on to rules of the road, which has another 10 questions. Question 1, when should you increase your following distance? Is it A, when traveling in wet conditions, B, only when your radio is on or see if you are driving on a Monday. Now, what is a following distance? So, it is a distance between you and the vehicle driving in front of you, right? Directly in front of you. So, increasing your following distance basically means your vehicle will either slow down and you will be increasing the distance between the two vehicles. So, when should you do this? You, can, you should do this if you are traveling in wet conditions because when it is raining, it takes your vehicle longer to slow down. So the answer will be A. Question 2. How often should you check your mirrors while driving? Is it A. You don't have to check your mirrors. B. Every 5 to 8 seconds. Or C. Every 30 minutes. The correct answer here will actually be every 5 to 8 seconds. Therefore, it will be B. Question 3. What is the maximum speed limit on non-urban roads for a vehicle with a mass of more than 9,000 kilograms? Is it A, 120 kilometers an hour, B, 250 kilometers an hour, or C, 80 kilometers an hour? Now, the correct answer here will be C. Question 4. Are you allowed to cross a solid white line while driving? The correct answer here will be no. You are not allowed to cross a solid white line at all. Question 5. Are you allowed to drive on the shoulder of the road beyond the left yellow line? Is it A, no, B, yes, or C, only if you're in a rush? The correct answer here will be no. You are not allowed to drive on the shoulder of the road. The only time you are allowed to go beyond that yellow line, right, there are a few reasons, but I'm going to give you one of them now. The main reason is if your vehicle breaks down. So you go and you park your vehicle beyond that left yellow line. Question 6. Which of the following is true? A. You are not allowed to turn at an intersection if it will cause harm to other road users. B. You are not allowed to listen to your radio on the weekend. Or C. You can only drive a red vehicle on a freeway. Now B and C don't make sense, therefore the answer will be A. Question 7. Which of the following will happen if you are illegally parked? A. You will be arrested. B. Nothing, you can park wherever you want, or C, you will be fined, or your vehicle will be impounded. impounded. Correct answer here will be C. Question 8. Is an ambulance allowed to park on the road if they are carrying out their duties? A, no, they have to follow the rules of the road. B, yes, these rules don't apply to them. Or C, only on weekends. Now we are talking about an ambulance which is carrying out their duties, therefore the answer will be B. These rules don't apply to them because they are saving lives. Question 9. Are you allowed to stop any public road if a traffic officer instructs you to do so? Is it A. No. B. Yes. C. Only if you are driving a truck. The correct answer will be yes. You are allowed. Now, let's say you are driving on a road and the road sign tells you not to stop. Right? Or let's say the the road sign tells you you cannot make a U-turn. However, there's a traffic officer there which instructs you to make a U-turn. You have to ignore that sign and listen to the traffic officer and make a U-turn. Question 10. Are you allowed to tow a vehicle on the freeway without a solid tow bar? A. No. B. Yes. 
C. Only if you are towing a truck. The correct answer here will be A. You are not allowed to tow a vehicle on the freeway without a solid tow bar because you are traveling at a high speed and if you had to slow down quickly, right, if you had to slam on the brakes, the vehicle you are towing behind you, because you are using a tow rope, will hit you from the back. So I want to thank you guys again so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like. If you know anyone who will be writing their learner's license test soon, be sure to share it to them. And subscribe if you want more. Right? Um, I wish you all the best. God bless. Take care.